And good evening. You are tuning in to Mocha Chocolate TV and Radio. I am live on location with Zero to 100 at the Perfectly Imperfect Expo, featuring some of the hottest business owners right here in Chicago. Here to my left, to my left, I have this wonderful young lady who has had an amazing year. I mean, she kicked off her wine love corkscrew and she has developed her own line of cigars and you're doing events like you are off the chain, honey bun. I'm so proud of you. Krishan Lampley, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Mocha. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Not a problem, not a problem. So just give my audience just a couple of tips on how you get started doing your line and then what uh, will motivate them in order to kind of pursue their dreams. What tips would you give them? I, I've been in the business for a long time now, so it's definitely a little bit of, of being in the industry on two different sides and then kind of everything coming together and, and picking into the vintner side. So it took years, years and years to come, and, and my advice to people are is to follow your passion. I know people say that, but it truly has to be something that you believe in and it's truly your passion. I have people all the time that say, I want to get into the wine business too. I say, okay, are you, are you sure you want to do that? Just because you enjoy wine doesn't mean you need to get into a cutthroat industry as such. So uh, follow your passion and what comes natural to you. And the reason why she is just so awesome is that when she talks on the panel, she talks from a perspective of honesty. That you had a par bar a couple of years ago and it got flooded out and you lost everything and you rebuilt. Talk a little bit about that for people that are struggling that may have lost everything and they're trying to rebuild themselves now. It's, it's actually picking yourself up. You know, that, that's the difficult part that people have. You know, the old adage is always uh, right before you make it is when you give up because you're dealing with all that struggle uh, and and what I did was I took that struggle and, and, and what could have destroyed most people and I really learned how to build myself up from it and, and things were just happening out of nowhere so when you took yourself out when I took myself out of the darkness yeah. all of a sudden things just came to light and it's very true you just have to pick yourself up life is too short keep going keep going I cannot stress that enough Exactly. And, and I, I love that you tell that story because when people see that you are successful, they think that it was an easy road and it's not. It's not. A lot of oftentimes that when people get that success and you see them all in the newspapers and on TV, they have had some sort of struggle. Absolutely. That God was preparing them for this moment. So in order to keep on at it, just keep believing and just keep on doing what you're passionate about. So why wine? Out of all the things that you could do, why wine? You know, it's funny when people ask me that, it's not just about about the wine it's about people I've always been a, a people person I've always been in customer service sales um, I just love communicating with others and that social part of it well usually in social events uh, usually in, in dinners what's there what, what's there wine uh, so it just came naturally and it was something that became just a passion of mine I've been doing it for years I've been in this business 20 years so a lot of people don't know that so it's not that oh, that love corkscrew is an overnight success it's that love corkscrew has been in me for 20 years so to bring it out to light in such a fun way uh, it's it's been an amazing experience and you're doing an amazing job let's talk a little bit about your cigar line that you have Lampley yes. cigar cigars is that correct that is correct, Lampley Cigars. I actually launched that, soft launched it, uh, less than a year ago, so it's less than a year old, and uh, it was in honor of my father. So I went to, to 